Are you ready to make this super spooky ghost eye faulty line cake? It is faulty, but faultless at the same time. Let's start with a plain vanilla cake or any cake of your choice. We're going to layer it with white buttercream icing. Go crazy with your colours if you like, it's all up to you. Even use cream cheese. Covering the entire outside of the cake too. Getting it ready to decorate. Sticking on some fonder dies around the edge. And some chocolate sprinkles, just slap them on like so. Get the kids involved with this one, they'll have loads of fun making this. Add some more buttercream around the bottom and the top. Smooth that over. There you've created your faulty line. And some red chocolate ganache dripping down the sides to look like blood. Piping on some black buttercream icing. Nice serrated edge nozzle there so you get this gorgeous effect. And sticking on a few fondant eyeballs. The kids will definitely have loads of fun with this one. <laughs> there you have it. Absolutely spooktastic. Enjoy. Why not try this spooky bone cake for Halloween? Ooh, fantastic. A work of art, kind of scary too, and delicious. All you need is 100 grams of egg white. Whisk it, use an electric whisk if you have one, it makes the process much easier. Then you're going to gradually add in 120 grams of sugar. Keep whisking it until you get this lovely silky smooth white frothy mixture and that is ready to go into your food piping bag to make your meringue bones. Ooh, yummy. You get to bring out the artist in you for this one. Stick those in the oven for two hours at 90 degrees centigrade. Meanwhile, get your chocolate cake, slice it up and layer it with buttercream icing. Pipe it on for ease any colour you like, but we're using grey because it's nice and spooky for Halloween. Smooth it over, a nice smooth surface makes it easier to stick your bones on. We've a little surprise for you too. That's right, some crushed Oreo cookie. Looks kind of like mud because we're going to stick on some fondant fingers. It looks like a hand is coming out from the grave. A few streaks across the mud to make it look like scratch marks. Getting spookier as we go. <laughs> now it's time to stick on your meringue bones. Any which way you like, break them up if you want. They'll stick on nice and easily to all that lovely buttercream icing. Fantastic. <laughs> there you have it. Ooh, that really does look spooky, doesn't it? We have to decide. Is it trick or treat? I say treat. Yum yum have got some fantastic spooky recipes for you this Halloween. If you want to get creative and make something a bit fun and different, we've got this ghost strawberry cake lined up for you. Start with some fondant icing to make your decorations. We're going to roll out some white fondant icing and cut it into strips and then into little triangles. These are going to be teeth. When those are ready, you can get some brown fondant icing and use a little bit of water to stick on your white teeth. A row along the top and a row along the bottom. Perfect. Right, let's get our strawberries. We're just going to take a little indent out of one side and stick on your mouth. Push it in so it stays there and there you have it, a spooky strawberry. Next, get your cake. We're using chocolate cake and green buttercream icing is going to be layered with three layers of this chocolate cake. 
Then we can coat the outside in purple buttercream icing. You can use any colour you like, but we like bright green and purple. Yay! Drizzle on some green chocolate ganache so it looks like slime, something out of a Ghostbusters movie. Cover the top too. Perfect. Now you can pipe on a few little blobs of green buttercream icing. These are going to make wonderful cushions for your spooky strawberries. There you go. Ready to stick them on. Brilliant. Let's make it even more spooky by adding some fondant tentacles. That's right, looks kind of like an evil octopus ready to break out of the cake. We've just shaped some black fondant icing and stuck on some white circles to those to look like tentacles. Super easy, really. And there you go. Bring out the spooky artist in you. Ooh, yum. Get ready for Halloween! Or just a spooky themed birthday party! Make this gravestone and ghost cake! Ooh, spooky! All you need is some white chocolate, which you're going to melt! And dip in a cookie! Sprinkle on a couple of eyes! That's going to be a ghost, you can make a few of those! Next, get some grey fondant icing and roll it out with a rolling pin and slice it up cutting it into a gravestone shape. Use some royal icing in a piping bag with a thin tipped nozzle to draw a border and write whatever you like on your stone. We're writing over the hill. Meanwhile, get your cake. We're using chocolate cake and layer it with black buttercream icing. Coating the entire outside of the cake too making a nice, smooth, even surface for our decorations to go on there. A little bit of piping around the bottom edge of our cake. It's all in the finishing touches, you know. And around the top too. And let's do a bit of decorating around the sides too. There you go, look, it's all in the detail. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Make an indent with a knife, stick in your gravestone, and use some cocktail sticks to just pop in your cookie decorations, your ghosts. Maybe stick one on the side as well. Why not add some crushed biscuits to give the effect of soil? a few fondant flowers, as you would have on a grave. And there you have it, a spooktastic work of art. Cookies and cake together, woohoo! fun making this very scary mummy fondant cake. Oh mummy! All you need is some rock candy. We're gonna melt that, smash it up once it's set. Oh that's the fun part. Then get your fondant icing, white of course, because we're going to use it to mummify our cake. Just cut it into strips which we will later wrap around our cake. There you go. Right, time for the cake. Vanilla cake or any cake you wish. Layering it with buttercream icing, using a food piping bag for ease, and then just coating the entire outside in it too. Oh, we do love a bit of buttercream. Smoothing it all over. To perfection. Time to have fun with fondant. We can now decorate. Sticking on your strips of fondant onto your nice, smooth buttercream icing surface. Kind of like wrapping up a Christmas present, isn't it? Or should I say Halloween present? Or even Halloween past! It's a mummy, isn't it? 
stick on a couple of eyeballs, also made out of fondant icing and edible ink. Add in your toffee glasses. Those are the bits we smashed up earlier from the rock candy. And a bit of raspberry jam or even red ganache, whatever you like, which kind of looks like blad oozing out of what looks like glass shards. And there you have it. A beautifully mummified vanilla cake. Want to know how to make a pink skull cake? Of course you do! And Yum Yum are going to show you just how to make this super simple basic cake into a work of art. Yes, all you need is some skull moulds and some pink fondant icing. Just stick them in there to get the desired shape. And then take them out. There you go, you have your skulls. Lay them out on a baking tray and just chill them so that they can set. Meanwhile, get a jug of water and stick a gold leaf or a bit of golden foil in there, dip your cherry in it and press it down. You could do that a few times for your decorations. Next is the cake. We're using chocolate cake with pink buttercream icing, layering it like so. Three layers and coating the outside in buttercream icing. Just pipe that on and spin your plate around to make it easier. Smooth it over. As always, we like to create the smooth surface to stick on our decorations. Right, time to stick on your skulls. Stick them on as randomly as you like. We're covering the entire outside edges of our cake. And piping on some dollops of white buttercream icing. On the top, we're doing four of those. And guess what we're going to put in them? That's right, our golden cherries. Ooh, they do look delish, don't they? You can decorate with chocolate, sweets, whatever you fancy. And there it is, an absolutely fantastic Halloween work of art. Ooh, yum. Hello from Yum Yum. Today we're going to be showing you a spider web cake. Very cool, huh? So if you don't mind a bit of creepy crawliness on your cake, then go ahead. We're using a pink coloured cake. That's right, and why not? We are layering it with black buttercream icing. The pink and the black make a fantastic contrast, don't you think? We're coating the entire outside of our cake. Smoothing it over, ready to decorate. Right, now comes the fun part. Some light pink chocolate ganache gets piped on and drizzled down the sides. Now we're going to get some marshmallows and melt them. They make a lovely stringy texture, just like spider silk. That's right, we are going to have lots of messy fun with this by stretching these melted marshmallows over our cake. There you go, and it looks just like it's covered in cobwebs. Stick on your fondant spider, using cocktail sticks to stick in the legs. Our spider has six legs, but you can do eight if you want. Six legs and six red eyes. A huge black spider. Ooh. And we are ready to roll. Super spider delicious. Go on then. Have a slice. If you dare. I think I do. Let's check your devotion to a potion. We're going to make this witch's cauldron cake. Very cool indeed. And it's got sweets in it too. Woohoo! You just get your chocolate cake and layer it with black buttercream icing. Several layers go on there. Now here comes a little intricate part. We're going to just slice around the edges to kind of round them off on the top and the bottom. That will make our cauldron shape, and then we can coat that in black buttercream icing. Smoothing it over. One ring of black buttercream icing goes around the edge on the top. That's the rim of our cauldron. And piping on some white buttercream icing fingers. 
coming from the bottom upwards as if a skeleton hand is holding your cauldron. Next we're going to pipe on some little dollops of green buttercream icing inside the rim. That's our magical potion. Double, double, boil and trouble. They're ready to decorate with gummy worms. Lovely worms sticking out of your potion, of course. We need worms and eyes and some brains and whatever else you fancy putting in your witch's potion. A few bits of fondant icing, perhaps. A few sprinkles, whatever you desire. And there we have it. A brew fit for any witch. The question is, which one would you like to eat first? <laughs>